picture this you start a youtube channel in january telling african animated stories and in less than a year you're at 50,000 subscribers and this whole time you've never once shown your face on camera now it sounds like a dream but for some people it's actually become reality here is one such channel it was started in january 2024 and it already has close to 50,000 subscribers and their videos are doing really well in fact this one video posted only nine days ago already has over 400,000 views now if you check out their social blade you can see that the estimated revenue is over five thousand dollars per month and this isn't the only channel telling african stories that is doing really well here is another one about one year old and one of their videos actually their very first one has already hit 2 million views. So all these channels are using AI to tell African stories. Now the most surprising thing is that you two could create such videos and get equal if not more success from them. So in this video I'll show you how to create AI animated story videos and don't worry even beginners can be able to create their very first video just from watching this tutorial. Let's get started. So the first thing is for us to create our story and for this we're going to use ChatGPT. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give us some story ideas that could be popular on YouTube telling African stories. Here is a prompt. I want to start a YouTube channel telling African stories or folk tales. The stories should have relatable everyday human African characters, have a moral lesson and should portray some of the moral decay in society all while being respectful to tradition and being relatable, okay? And then I also tell it how I want it formatted. I'm going to leave this entire prompt in the description down below, okay? So ChatGPT has given us a table here. So you can see we have a title, we have a summary of the story, we have the moral lesson, and then we have the YouTube performance percentage rank. So this is something that I asked it to give us in the prompt so that we're able to know which stories might do better than others. So when I look at this entire table, I think I'm just going to go with the first Story here the greedy farmers downfall you can see the summary of that story here so it could be a story that people will enjoy so we're going to go with that next we're going to ask ChatGPT to give us the actual script for that story so my prompt is give me a relatable story script for and then I have parentheses there for the actual story so this prompt I'm going to leave it in the description down below so where we have the parentheses here we're going to copy the title of the story we've chosen the greedy farmers downfall and then we're going to paste it inside of our prompt prompt so that now it reads give me a relatable story script for the greedy farmer's downfall the story should start with a strong hook and carry the audience into the story while allowing them to feel emotions it should be done in a simple language understandable even to a fifth grader and should showcase the rich african culture and morals also provide image prompts for each of these scenes separately. Okay, so that is what I've asked ChatGPT to give us. So you can see ChatGPT is giving us our story here. So we have the first scene and then we have what the narrator is saying. We also have some image prompts here. Let us now go to the second step, which is starting to create audio for our story. For that, we're going to be using 11 Labs and you can use 11 Labs for free. If you don't have an account, you can use the link in the description to sign up for one. So once you're logged in into 11 labs you have some suggestions here so you have tell a story you have listened to a joke you have narrate an ad so these are just examples to show you some of the capabilities of 11 labs let's click on this tell a story here yeah so you can see we have some text here in a quiet village where the sky brushes the fields in hues of gold young Mia discovered a map leading to forgotten treasures yeah so that just demonstrates how 11 labs works so you put in some text choose a voice and then click on generate speech and then you have your audio but you can also find other voices if you go to the voice library so just go to voices here and then click on library so you have so many voices to choose from here you can also filter them by any of these categories yeah so now let's start creating our audio so we're going to go back to chat gpt so one thing that you can do is to separate your audio from your story if you want to have like all the audio in one place but then our story is mostly the narrator speaking so i don't think that is going to be necessary for us so i'm just going to copy what the narrator is saying bring it back to 11 labs paste it here and then we're going to start editing so that we have only the parts that we need for example i'll remove this narrator i can also change a bit of the way the story starts here so i wanted to say a long time ago in a beautiful african village yeah we can also change the voice here maybe from daniel to i think callum i've tried callum before and i think it sounds really nice life without love is like a tree without blossoms or fruit yeah so we can also add in a bit of dashes here just to have it have more space in between the words click on generate speech a long time ago in 
the beautiful African village, there was a farmer named Kwame. Yeah, I think that sounds okay. Download this and you keep doing this until you've generated all of your audio. The other thing that you need to do is to rename the audio files so that you're able to work with them later. So for mine, I'm just going to name them as maybe one, two, three, just so I know how they're following each other. And that is going to really come in handy when we're putting our video together. Now, the next section is for us to start creating the images that you're going to be using. For that, we're going to use Leonardo. If you don't have an account, you can use the link in the description to sign up for one. So one once you're signed in to Leonardo, we're going to go to where it says image creation here. Yeah, and then we're going to choose one of the models to use. So just go to the presets here and then maybe we can work with Leonardo Phoenix. Leonardo Phoenix is one of the latest one and it really gives awesome images. So that's the one we're going to use now. In the preset style, I'm just going to leave it at dynamic. And then in the generation mode, we'll have fast. We're also going to ensure image dimensions is 16 by 9 because it's a YouTube video. And now we can start generating our images. So just go back to chat GPT and copy our first prompt here. Yeah, so where it says scene one here, I can try copy that as my first prompt. So let's go back Back to Leonardo with what we have and then we can paste it here click on generate yeah so we have our very first images here now this doesn't really look like an African village yeah if I look at this they are really beautiful pictures but they really don't look like African villages so we're going to have to generate this so I'll just add in African inside of the prompt then click on generate yeah, so this is something that you can do. You can always modify your prompt. You don't have to use what you've been given by ChatGPT as it is. Yeah, so this is our other village here. Yeah, so this look more like African villages, but let's see if we can get others here. Yeah, I think we can use one of these to be our African village. So we're just going to create a folder called Greedy Farmer. This is where we are going to put in all the images that we create for this. Let's go to the next prompt. I think this is the one introducing Kwame here. So we'll just copy our prompt from ChatGPT here. Come back and paste it here. We're still going to use Leonardo Phoenix for this. Okay, I think these are looking pretty awesome. I think this could be our Kwame, one of these pictures here. Yeah, I don't think I like that it has a logo here, but let's see the rest of them. Yeah, I think this fourth one doesn't have a logo. Let's see it. Yeah, so let's go to organize and then we're going to save it inside of our greedy farmer folder. Okay, so now I want to show you something else. Let's first of all go to chat GPT and copy the next prompt. So for this one, we can copy two of these because I think they're just describing a bit of the setting and what Kwame is doing. So this is going to be our Kwame here. But if you go to Leonardo Phoenix here, you can see we're not able to create consistent characters, but I think it is a feature that is coming soon. So we're going to have to change the model. Let's go with cinematic here. And then we're going to just paste in our prompt here. Yeah, you can see this one has character reference. Let's just paste in our prompt. And then we click on character reference. Then we're going to go to our collections. Since we've already created the Kwame that we want to use, go to the Greedy Farmer folder. And then we're going to click on that. Click on confirm. Yeah, so that is going to be like the reference of our character. That is what we want Kwame to look like. So this is how you actually generate consistent characters inside of Leonardo. We also want to reference a kind of a style. And we're going to reference just what we have in this um, folder again. Just the same picture. So that we have the pictures sort of looking in the same way. So we have character reference. We have style reference. Click on generate. Yeah, so you can see we have other pictures of Kwame here and you can see he looks sort of like the same Kwame that we've used. So that is how you can be able to use um, Leonardo to create your consistent characters to also even reference the style. So you can see this really looks like an African village and this is Kwame, the same Kwame that we've been using. And it also helps for you to have like this many images because when you're creating the actual video, you want to have like many images that you can play around with. 
and then you continue on to create all the other images using the AI prompts that you have. So step four is for us to find some music that you're going to be using for our video. For that, I recommend using the YouTube audio library. So just go to your YouTube studio audio library and then you can just select from a numerous selection the music that you'd want to use so you just listen to them and then once you like something just download it let's listen to this one yeah i think i like that one let's download it now we can go to our fifth step and that is starting to put our video together for that we're going to be using canva if you don't have an account you can use the link in the description to sign up for one so once you're signed in go to where it says create a design specify that you want to create a youtube video now we have our blank canvas here we can start creating our video now yeah the next thing is for us to upload all our audio so all the audio we created from 11 labs and even the music that you've gotten from the youtube audio library you just upload it here because you're going to be using it and then we'll also download all the images that we got from leonardo so if you go back to leonardo click on library you're going to find collections here so remember we saved all our images inside of our collection called greedy farmer so just open it and now we're going to select the images that we need so just check select here and then you can select all the images that you think you're going to use yeah you can always come back to download more if you find the need to so i'm going to select all the different images that i think i'll use once i'm done selecting we go to where it says download here yeah just click on original images and it's going to download as a zipped folder so unzip the folder and then upload all those images inside of canva yeah so now we are ready to start creating the actual video so the first thing that i'm going to add here is the music and then i'm just going to reduce the volume and then i'll add in the first audio remember we named them in a way that we're able to know which one comes first so this is the first one a long time ago in a beautiful african village yeah now i need to go and look for a photo that is going to match what the narrator is saying let me see if i can find one of the villages here so, yeah so i think i can use this one set it as the background okay let's play that a long time ago in a beautiful african village okay so i'm feeling the need to add in a bit of motion here you can see this is just a still photo so let me quickly show you how you can add motion to your images using leonardo so let's just go back to leonardo but for this one you have to be on the paid version unless you want to have uh, like a watermark there so just go to the leonardo home page here click on motion and then we're going to select an image so we're going to select that particular image that we've looked at and seen we'd like to add some motion there yeah click on confirm okay and then we can reduce this motion strength there and then click on generate click on view generation it's just going to take a little while to create yeah so we're just going to download it and upload it inside of canva let's add it to our scene so just uh, replace the background there and now you can see it is only four seconds here uh, let me play this so that you can understand why this could be a problem a long time ago in a beautiful after yeah so you see the narrator continues to talk even though the scene is only four seconds so we need this scene to be a bit longer so if you try to stretch it you'll see that it won't stretch it's only going to be like four seconds so what you can do you can go to the playback here and then we're going to reduce this video speed you can see the video is getting longer let's play this a long time ago in a beautiful african village there was a farmer named Kwame. Yeah, that's a bit better. We can start adding other scenes here. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, ensure you like it and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate all the love and support. Let's continue. Okay, so I think the next one is introducing Kwame. Let's add a scene. So I can use this one, just set that as a background. Okay, let's play that. Kwame was the richest man in the village, but not because he worked harder than... Okay, I think we can stretch this a little bit more. Yeah, and then you continue adding all the scenes that you're going to need for your video. So once you're done and you're happy with your video, now we want to add in transitions. So just go between any of the slides here. Click on that triangle here. It's going to give you like a whole lot of transitions to choose from. I'm going to go with this slide transition here. 
also ensure that you apply it um, to all the slides so once you're done and you're happy with what the video looks like you can then rename it i'm just going to call it the greedy farmer here and then we're going to go to the share button and then we're going to download it so i want us to add one last thing to this video i want us to add captions for that we're going to use CapCut. so you can use CapCut for free and you can use it either online or on your desktop i'm going to use the desktop version so just go to CapCut, import your video here and then drag it here to where we have the timeline then we're going to select the video and then click on text click on auto captions and then just click on generate it's going to generate the captions for us once you have the captions generated they're going to be these ones in brown here now we can start editing what the captions are going to look like so just select any of the captions here so we can have a playhead somewhere here then we're going to go to where it says our uh, captions here so this is going to allow you to check whether the wordings are correct and whether the story is the way you'd like it to be for example i want to break this one so i want to have the first part saying a long time ago then i break that's what that goes into a different section and you can uh, break them as you would like next we're going to go to where it says text so that we can actually start formatting our text okay and then we'll go to where it says font here choose a font that we like i'll go with this one here and then we can also adjust the font size so we can have it maybe somewhere there we can also make it all caps and then we can change our color but i think i want to go with some of the preset styles here so we can try that one or that one or that one yeah so that one maybe looks okay but we can also go to where it says animation here i'll go to the category that says captions here yeah maybe we can go with this one here so i'll select all of the text here and then I'm just going to click on the caption here. Once you're done, click on export. This is what our final video looks like. A long time ago, in a beautiful African village, there was a farmer named Kwame. Kwame was the richest man in the village, but not because he worked harder than anyone else. No, Kwame had many workers, men and women who tilled the soil and harvested the crops, but Kwame kept all the wealth for himself. Every time the workers begged for fair pay, Kwame would laugh and say, If you want more, work harder. Why should I share what I've earned? Hard work is for those without brains. But deep in the ground beneath Kwame's farm, the earth was listening, and it did not like what it heard. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, but the land around Kwame's farm began to change. The skies grew darker, and the soil became dry and hard. The crops no longer grew tall and green. Kwame's workers, once strong and healthy, grew weak and tired. Kwame shouted angrily at his workers, Why aren't you working harder? The harvest is getting smaller. And one of the workers replied, The land. It is cursed, Kwame. We've worked as hard as we can. But Kwame wouldn't listen. He made the workers toil day and night. Yeah, you can let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. If you want to learn more on how to create videos like this, ensure you watch the video on the screen. Also, ensure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Ferris, and I'll catch you on the next one.